Hey guys, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to another Q&A series. Today's question is about uh, this video that I made a couple of months ago and it's about how to collect coins in your level. In that video, I explained how to create a mechanism that uh, enables you to be able to collect objects from your level and also keep the count. As you can see, when I collide with them, uh, the number changes and then they get destroyed. If you want to know how this system works, just click the link and uh, watch the video and you'll be able to implement this system easily. Okay, now let's see the question and see how we can approach it. The question is, how is it possible to have the coins spawn again in the same location a few minutes after they have been collected? Right now, let's go to the blueprint and see what we can do. This is how the coin blueprint works. We have a box collision and when our third person character collides with it, we set an integer which helps us keep the count of the coins. Then we play a sound and then we destroy the actor. Okay, now in order to spawn the coins again, the first solution that comes to mind is to just add a delay note here. For example, set it on 5 seconds and then spawn the actor again. Here we need a transform, so let's get actor transform and plug it in. But this is not going to work. And the reason is that when we destroy the actor, uh, the nodes that are after it uh, don't get called properly. So it's not going to work and we need another solution. Here when I uh, add a print string, you can see that it will be called immediately after this node. So let's compile and play. And you can see that it's being called. But uh, when I add a delay here, it doesn't work anymore. You can see that we do not have the text uh, at the corner of our screen. So the delay node doesn't work properly after a destroy actor function. A thing we can do here is to get the location of our actor, store it somewhere else, for example, in our third person character, the reason that we need to store it somewhere else is because that our actor is destroyed itself so the data doesn't uh, get saved here so we need to save it somewhere else and after that use that data to spawn uh, the coin at the location that we saved so for example you can get actor location and use this data somewhere else but it's a little complicated and there's actually a much easier and straightforward way to do this. All we need to do here is to just disable the visibility of this static mesh for a period of time and also disable this box collision and then enable them after that time period. So for example, when we want them to be spawned again after 10 seconds we just need to disable them for 10 seconds and enable them again and this way we can have the thing we want we are actually not spawning them again we are just disabling them for the period of time but uh, this solution i think is much smarter and uh, is easier to implement so let's see how we can do that here just uh, delete this destroy actor and instead add a set visibility function We want to change the visibility of our static mesh. So select this one and then set the new visibility on false, meaning that when our character collides with the coins, their visibility will be set to false and we are not able to see them anymore. As you can see, when I collide with them, they are not visible anymore, but the box collision is still working. So when I uh, go to their location, you can see that uh, our coin number is going up. 
in order to disable the box collision as well just uh, select it here scroll down and here you can see that we have a generate overlap events if it's disabled the box collision doesn't work anymore and we do not get any event after we overlap with it so just drag it into your event graph here search for set generate overlap events and connect it to the target we want it to turn into false so keep it this way and now you can see that when we collide with our coins they get disappeared and also the box collisions don't work anymore okay now let's say that you want them to reappear after three seconds just add a delay node set it on three and then you need to repeat this again so select them and copy them and this time just uh, set the visibility on true and also activate the overlap events Now you can see that after 3 seconds, I can have the coins back. Yeah, and this is how I would approach this problem. However, there may be other solutions that may even work better compared to this method. So if you have any better ideas, please uh, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have questions about my other tutorials or Unreal in general, uh, please leave a comment uh, for one of my videos and I will try to cover it in my Q&A series. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.